Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. As we have started Tecla Connection Designer Tutorial Series, I mean how we will design some steel connection by using Tecla Connection Designer Software 2019. So this is its second part and in our first part I have shown you that how we will just design that if connection okay so I will design that connection by using Tecla Structural Designer so, I'm sorry uh, by using Tecla Connection Designer software so if you're new to our channel please watch that video that uh, link and given in description I mean playlist are given in description and also if you're new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so let's start so first now in this video I'm just going to this is your model uh, so I have just designed that part in our previous video and uh, I have told you to design that part in same way this is same and uh, actually if I just show you edit connection you have to come here just in this time in C face uh, in, your, in our previous video I have shown A face now it will be in C face just this is the difference actually now we will go for apex design ok so we will design portal frame apex ok just uh, click here and right click and click here export connection then export connection and minus it after see that here is our apex ok this is our apex so in this video I will just show that how we will design it right so actually to design that apex We have to just click here edit connection just edit connection after that they have option face C and A face C and A after that click here uh, You have to just click here uh, it's okay then hunt you have to click here hunt and if you need to change here something you can also change that but I will not change anything here then I'll directly go int plate okay I'll directly come here int plate after that I'll just uh, its thickness is okay uh, width is also okay then it's also okay great also you can also change that great according to your requirement and according to your availability so this great is okay after that uh, has the flash project above I will select that in 25 just sorry this is 25 it's 25 after that bottom flash I will also use 20 just see here it's have increased now uh, it's done after that also you can uh, select this I mean increase its thickness or anything that's required for you but I'm not going to increase any thickness here then I'll go here bolt layout this is the most important part bolt layout so how will change that so this is the for top zone this is for top zone okay for top zone first row offset below top SOP so from support point uh, after that uh, this is the value offset from our that first I mean that uh, flange so here I'll give it as 90 90 and I will select row as 2 row and I'll give here 1 to 0 just like that okay after that for bottom zone I will give for 1 ok it's 90 90 mm, it's ok so I will also can decrease that value it's 80 like that just you can uh, change that anything according to requirement that's not fact after that after uh, that you have to come here bold now just see that here after that uh, after changing that has the grid this is the bold grid just you can select anyone I mean uh, 
any of that software that size M20 and here is the Gauss 90.19 I mean millimeter it's okay then I will uh, here's the welds okay this is the uh, welding and this is for flames top bottom web top bottom zone and beam hinge flame and web flame okay so I'll just uh, simply apply and see what is the issue here so it's showing us for welding it's failing okay for welding it's failing so I'll just double click here and uh, it's showing us compression flange weld compression flange weld or failing beam top flange here yeah? beam top flange okay so uh, we have to if I again double click here just see here our fillet weld is I mean our provided fillet weld is 8 millimeter but it's the required nominal web it's required nominal web is nominal 8.3 millimeter okay it's 8.3 millimeters so we have to increase that okay then okay then again cancel here now sorry I'll just top flange I'll see that and here I'll just increase that nine okay then I'll see okay apply this, this, no, I mean this time see that it's okay but uh, if you see that the utilization ratio it's 0 0.996 0 0.996 that means it's the it's in very critical situation because uh, uh, when it will exist one I mean when it will one it will fail okay but uh, it's almost near one that's why uh, we should increase its value okay so I just close that after I'll give her nine also for it nine just okay and see what happened click here it's also 0 0.996 so I will also increase that nine and also increase that nine then okay then again apply see what happened just see that it's a decrease 0 0.918 again I'll work here so for that I'll give her 0 0.9 okay 0 0.9 okay apply it's 0 0.918 it's not also so if I increase that in 10 so okay I can increase that 10 actually this is very important because uh, if it's fail your whole structure will fail okay so uh, I mean the welding connect your rafter or hunch with that plate and plate are connected to column so this is I mean uh, plate are connected with another plate uh, and uh, it's connect to rafter so it is very very important to give a special attention here so I'll just increase 10 10 actually uh, when it is 9 that that's, that's not means that it will fail actually but uh, now see that it's uh, 0 0.826 I think it's good on now I mean uh, here good it now so it's okay but uh, actually this is not that when it will be 0 0.996 it will fail that's not fake actually I actually that's not it it can fail for other reason and actually when we uh, use software they have no caution to fail actually okay because uh, uh, in this way that we can design properly a connection okay so uh, close that and press okay okay so see that here everything have passed everything have passed so I'll just closer I actually just try that uh, always try that utilization ratio should be less than 9 it's good and just see here for share it's 0 0 and for beam it's 0 0.03 and for stiffer it's 0 0.126 it's a past very well done very good uh, condition it is its condition is very good cause uh, they have no chance they have no minimum chance of failing of for that criteria okay so just close that after that our model is okay so uh
I'm just going to show that how uh, is this is the 3D form then this is the open this is the 2D view so this is the 2D view and it's showing you that what will be the welding it's 10 10 10 10 millimeter everything is millimeter so if you have 10 millimeter and uh, here actually it's showing here actually uh, it's showing the plate plate connection with one rafter to another rafter okay one rafter to another rafter and uh, sometime ago I have told you that if I show you in uh, 3d mode just see here actually here I just want to show that rafter are connected with that plate by using that welding okay by using that welding so the welding should be very good welding should be very good okay because uh, in bold there have minimum chance to fail but uh, it can fail in welding okay so when we'll use welding and if it is being very loose or norm nominal or normal then it can be fail here so just see here this is the uh, connection here this is connection here actually this is welding this is the welding and also if we see here so if we see here here is the welding with the rafter and hunch so and if now if we want to see it in AutoCAD so just click here span span 1 apex so just save it here after that minus that and uh, go to computer and where you have saved a certain um, document so from here is the span 1 apex I'll just open it and see what happened Now see here, here is our apex. Here is our apex. Okay, so here is our every data and everything is available here. So I think uh, it's okay for you. And if you think that that is helpful for you, subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update every first. And also like our video, share our video with your engineer friend who can learn that. And, uh, and who want to learn that about that and also leave a comment how was the video and your own like and own comment inspire us for the next work so thank you thank you very much as well as the till next video in our next video I'll just show that how we'll design our base connection this is most important how we'll design our base connection so as till that video